Next, we've got another of our First Steps films, and this week we enter the secret world of the Magic Circle with top magician Dominic Wood. I was 13 years old when I got interested in magic, and that's the same age that I wanted to be a TV presenter. So I had to try and combine the two. But the trick that got me started was the vanishing pencil taught to me by my drum teacher. Watch, okay, it's gonna vanish. One, two, three, three. it's gone. <laughs> Rubbish trick, I know. But uh, that's the trick that got me started, and from then on, I knew about this place called the Magic Circle, which is an amazing place. Little did I know that years later, I'd actually be a member of the Inner Magic Circle, come here on a regular basis, and have my very own cheesy picture <laughs> up on the wall. Don't laugh. Because I was bitten by the bug, it was a total and utter obsession. I used to practice about, I don't know, about every minute I could. When I wasn't doing schoolwork, um, I was doing magic. I've got a very focused mind. With every single magic competition I entered, all day, every day, all night, I used to practice till three in the morning. Luckily, it all paid off. After I uh, won the Reading Junior Day, I got automatic entry to the Magic Circle's Young Magician of the Year competition. I basically put my life and my soul into winning this. It really meant so much to me. I was all psyched up, ready to go. I went into the heats and uh, whew, went straight through them into the finals. It was a pretty nerve-wracking time for me, I can tell you. Um, so the day came along. I came on stage. My opening trick in front of all of the Magic Circle and all these mums and dads and everyone was to make a dove a live dove appear and then flies back to my finger. It goes right all the time. Of course, when I go out there, it's showtime. The dove appears out here, brilliant, that's work. And it flies right away. It flies in, into the audience and it just flaps around and then lands on the floor. I tell you, I, I just went, stop the music, I'm going off. And I went straight off. And uh, there was a deathly silence. Apparently, my family were just in their seats going, the competitor Dominic Wood would like to start again. Is that permitted? Indeed, Indeed it is. Good. So that's Eventually, the compare came on, and he actually gave me a second go. So he came back out on stage, and uh, the dove appeared again. But luckily, touch wood, it flew back to my finger, and the audience went, "Yeah!" And then I sailed through the rest of my act, not one fall, and uh, got to the end. And I thought, if I haven't won, you know and that's it, all my dreams are shattered. And they just said, and the 1995 Young Magician of the Year is... Dominic Wood! And that was it. And the new goal was to combine the magic with TV presenting and try and get there on Children's BBC. Everyone who's everyone who worked in television got a copy of my showreel. I think the gimmick that made me successful was the fact that I could do magic. I think there are so many good presenters. I think if I was only a presenter, I don't think I'd get that far. Successful can, uh, can mean anything. Being the best at what you can do and totally focusing your mind. I think that's success. Thanks, Dominic. That was simply magic. Oh, dear.